Hello my YouTube friends! Running your own live stream while you're actually on live can be a real challenge. There's just so much to look at and pay attention to. It can be really hard to focus on the chat and keep your audience engaged while you're running your own stream. Today I'm going to show you how to eliminate a lot of this stress and make it easy so you can focus on the chat and the camera. Oh, and did I mention it's totally free? Yup, built right into OBS. So let's get to it! If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. OBS Studio is constantly working to simplify and automate certain processes to make it easier to live stream. And they've continually made their hotkey system better and better with each release. And this makes it easier to do the tasks you want with just a touch of the button. So let me show you how easy it is to set it up and change scenes or play media with just the touch of a button in OBS Studio. It's awesome. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add something to our scene here. So I'm gonna click the plus, add a video capture device. Then I'm gonna name this My Cam and click OK. Now I just need to select my camera and I'll set this up real quick. And I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom and select my audio device as well. And I check it, make sure it's working, we're good to go. Now that my microphone is set up, I'm gonna go into settings and I'm gonna go down to hotkeys. And what I'm gonna do is scroll down to find my cam and there it is. Now, I don't wanna turn the camera on and off. What I wanna do is turn the audio on and off. So right down here under my cam, you can see mute and unmute. So what I'm going to do is just create a hotkey for these and you can make it any hotkey you want. You can actually label the keys on your keyboard if you want. And then I'll click apply and then when I click the zero key, you can see it mutes my microphone, which is awesome. That works fantastic. This is a really easy way to build in a cough button or something like that to your live streams. Next, I'm going to add another element to the scene. So I just click the plus, select media source, and I don't need to name this anything. I'm gonna go in here and then I'm going to browse to the media source that I wanna add. In this case, any one of these will do. Now these don't have actual audio in them. I'm gonna select loop and click okay. So now there we go. We have this media source I just added. Now what if I wanted to toggle this on or off? I can just go into settings and I go to hotkeys and I find the media source, which of course I named media source, and I can make a hotkey for on and off. Any hotkey will do. And when I apply that, now when I click the delete key, that disappears. And again, and off, and again, and off, and again, and off, and you get the point. You can see how amazingly responsive this is though. You touch the key and it automatically switches over. Uh, that was just too much fun. Next, I'm gonna add another scene. We're gonna click the plus, and I'm just gonna open up a Google window here so I can add it into our broadcast and go to Window Capture. I'm not gonna name this anything interesting. And that's the Chrome tab I want. So now I can do a window capture, and if I wanted to do a tutorial on something, I can show folks how to do something. If I go into Settings now and go to Hotkeys, I can just go down here to Scene 2, and I can select the hotkey that I want to use to switch to this scene. So why don't I just use the number 2? That seems to make sense. We'll use the hotkey number 2 on this scene, and we're going to use the hotkey number 1 for our first scene. And I'll click Apply and OK. And now, by clicking those hotkeys, I can switch back and forth in between the two scenes. It works absolutely fantastic. And it's really, really, really quick and responsive. Now I'm gonna add a video camera in here. It's a little more interesting, so I can add the existing. And there we go. I'll just resize this up a little bit, put it down in the bottom right hand corner, and you can see that if I switch scenes, there we go, and I can switch back to a tutorial scene, really simple, really easy, all with pressing one key on the keyboard. It doesn't cost you anything. Now I wanna show you something a little different. You can use these hotkeys in conjunction with plugins. In this case, the Move Transition plugin. If you want to check out the Move Transition plugin, I will leave a link at the end of the video so you can check it out. But basically what the Move Transition plugin will do is it will move a source, in this case my video camera, anywhere I want to on the screen. And of course I have the locations already set up. 
So when I go in there and I set up which location is for which number, in this case, I set it up for seven, nine, three, and one for the four corners and five for the big one in the center. I just press these keys to move this camera around absolutely seamlessly. And it looks fantastic. And this is really easy to set up using the exact same hotkeys that I already showed you. Now, of course, this is a plugin and it's really easy to add if you check out that video, but you can do all kinds of creative things with the hotkeys. This is just one absolutely cool example. If you wanna check out the Move Transition and other awesome plugins for OBS Studio, you should check this video out. They're all free, and if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.